Welcome everybody to our Milio Photos Coffee Break. So glad you're able to join us today. Our topic for the day is getting the most out of our community. So as most of you know, we have our Milio Photos community hosted on Mighty Networks, which you can find at community.mylio.com. Most likely that's how you found the event for today. So I'm gonna make the slight assumption that most of you are already members of the community. So I wanna thank you for that. And our special guest today is Megan. And she's actually our community manager. So she's a, a lot of times the one who's posting things for the Mylia Photos brand. And she's also on there with her own personal profile, commenting on people's photos, answering questions. She edits all of these coffee break videos for me. So I'm always very grateful for that. And gets those posts. Hi. Right. I have a mobile pickup. Oh, hey, pick Michael, up. let me go ahead and mute you. <laughs> all right. So before we dive into Megan's uh, demo about what the community has to offer and some of the resources that you might not have discovered, I want to show you a really quick tip for sharing photos to the community. So let me share my screen and I'm going to jump over to Mylio. So I've got some photos on the screen right now that I captured back in 2020 and I call this my follow and leave series. And I was thinking about this today because it's been dreadfully hot in Southern California this last week. And I can't wait for fall. I'm one of those people like the as soon as the weather turns brisk and crisp, it makes me so, so very happy. So I often go back and look at these photos and kind of just dream of those cool fall breezes. And I'd like to share that with the community. So what I can do here is easily export this image and post it in the community. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. If you want to add your watermark, for instance, you can always right click on the image, go to media and share, and that's gonna pull up the export window. So you choose export, choose your, I would choose a JPEG. I usually go 1920 on the long edge. You can change the quality maybe to medium, choose what metadata you wanna include and apply a watermark if you want. I have mine set up to say just copyright Angela Andrew. Now, if a watermark isn't terribly important to you, there's an even faster way to do this. What I'm going to do instead is X out of this, and I'm going to right click on my image, and you can get to this menu if you're using a touchscreen device. Down here in the bottom right, the quick actions menu, it's exactly the same. So I'm going to right click on that and just choose copy. And then I'm going to alt tab over to my browser and find a group. So I'm going to go down to the groups tab and scroll down and find a group that would be a good fit for my photo. So for most cases in an image like that, I would either choose macro or nature. Now, this isn't necessarily a strict macro shot. I think I was using a 24 to 105 lens, not a macro lens, so it's not super close. Um, so nature might be a better fit. Also, there's 67 members here where there's only 31 members in macro. And that means that more people are gonna see that shot if I post it here in nature photos. So I can click on that group, go into the share field at the top, and because I copied that image from my Leo photos, it saved it to my system clipboard and I can just do a command or control V and that's going to paste that image directly into that field. I can then enter my caption and let's say wishing you cool fall breezes. And then hit post and that's going to post that image to the nature's photo, nature photos group. So that's a quick and easy way. And look at that, it even included my watermark. I didn't know it was gonna do that. And that's because I enabled that in that export window. If I had that unchecked, so we can go back over here to Mylia Photos and right click here and go to the share menu. If I go to export and I uncheck the apply watermark, if I do that copy and paste, the, the watermark will not be there. So couple of little quick tips for you. And I actually did not know that it was going to include the watermark there. So I learned something new today. So that's kind of fun. Um, that's my quick tip, quick sharing tip. And I want to encourage you all to share photos to the community, share your tips about how you use my Leo photos, because that makes the community a lot more fun. And we want to see your photos, not just ours. So um, we're all passionate about photography. We all like taking pictures and we love sharing them but seeing yours is really fun and inspirational as well. So let me stop sharing my screen and turn the floor over to Megan. So welcome, Megan. As I mentioned before, she's our community manager and all of those posts you see from Mylia Photos 
in our community, those are coming from her. So welcome. Thank you so much, Angela, for having me. I'm super excited to show you guys around the community today. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Hopefully my cat doesn't meow too much in the background. If I, if I close the joys of working from home, if I close my door, they're going to scratch at the door and want to be getting in. So I have to leave it cracked for them. <laughs> so as Angela said, I'm sure most of you found out about this coffee break from the community and are probably already members. But just in case, I want to start from the very get-go and show you guys how you can sign up, explore, and sign in. So I'm going to sign out right here by clicking my my logo, my picture in the top right. Turn to the landing page. So if you are new to the Milo Photos community and you haven't signed up yet, you can actually choose the explore option and poke around before you decide to join, or you can click join. I'm not gonna show you the entire process because I'm sure you guys are mostly all members, but just a note that it is different than our app and the support forum if you're already members of those, which you probably also are. It's just a separate uh, platform. So it's gonna, you could use the same email, but it's going to be a different email uh -huh. password when you create your account. So I'm just gonna go to sign in. See if it remembers me. Nope, I'll have to sign in really quick with my email and password. I only made one tiny little typo. I was like, I'm gonna type really fast, but really good and not make a typo, but of course it happened. <laughs> so here we are. The interface is going to look a little bit different for you guys because like Angela said, I am a host. So even though I'm on my personal account, there's a few things that are only visible to hosts. So just ignore that stuff. But for the most part, the general idea is the same. So one of the first things I want to bring to your attention, if you guys haven't noticed this or you are just new to the community, is we have a welcome section here. You can expand this list or you can just kind of scroll through and poke around. It's really good just to get the lay of the land and it's got some of our best. So I clicked view list so I could see the expanded list. It's got some of our uh, best resources to get you up and going and make you understand how to use the Milo Photos community. And not one particular post I want to bring to your guys' attention is the Milo Photos quick questions. It's a great place. Everything's going slow, of course. <laughs> It's a great place to post your questions or you can just scroll through and see what other people have asked and reply. But this is something I'm gonna tell you guys in a little bit when we get to the group discussion. You do have to, it's a group, so you do have to join it in order to post there. You can view things without joining, but if you want to be able to post, you need to join the group. So that's step one. Uh, let's see, what else is good in the welcome checklist? Let's go back here. Oh, and as you can see, because I clicked into that, it automatically checked it off for me because it's assuming that I went through and I uh, poked around. Or you can also just manually check it off your list if you're like, yep, I already did that. Uh, this is a great one too, because it talks about joining Miley of Photos groups. We have quite a few already, which are listed here. If you click one of these links, it'll actually send you an email and you'll automatically join the group. And it'll say, you're joined. Pop on in the group and see what we have to offer here. Or there's other ways that you can join, which I'll show you in a little bit. Close that. So that's the welcome checklist. And we're gonna talk about some of these other things later, like the quick start guide is a tutorial video series that. I highly recommend if you're just getting started with the Milo Photos app. And we've been doing lots of live events and webinars, just like this coffee break. So we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. A couple things that it reminds you to do on your welcome checklist are introducing yourself and adjusting your notifications. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that if you're not in here, which you can do it from here. So again, clicking view my stuff up in the top yeah. there, I can go to view my profile. Here's where you can add a background image like I have here. 
That was from my honeymoon in Hawaii a year ago. And now my husband and I are expecting our first child. So how things change in a year. <laughs> and you can update your profile picture, of course. Your about me section. I actually just did this today just so that I could see how it looks on the public facing view. And it showed up to everybody. So we'll see if people respond to my about me section that I posted here. Uh, you can also choose your expertise because many of you are professional photographers. Let's see, what are some of the other ones? I'm a family memory keeper because I'm not a professional photographer, but I love taking pictures of my family, my pets, my food, which is all in my about me section here. <laughs> I'm going family memory keeper. I think it shows you the other options. We tried to keep it simple so you can, oh, it just takes you to the, interesting. Yeah, it takes you to the, it takes you all the family, keep, family memory keepers. There's a lot. F, yeah, if you click on expertise over on the left. Yeah, let's see. There we go. All the different Look ones that. you can choose from. Traveler, semi-professional photographer, genealogy and ancestry. So you don't have to choose one of those, but if there's one that you feel like you identify with the most, it's really good. And then like we just saw, then you can go in there and look at all the other people who are interested in the same thing you are. Let me go back to my profile here. Might get off track a few times, bear with me. <laughs> Angela will help me keep, help keep me on track. <laughs> Either that or I'll bear you off course. When I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, so of course you can go to the edit button here and you can edit anything in your profile. Or you can also just click something that you haven't done yet, click the plus, and it'll get you right into that same screen to edit it. So here I could add my social platform links, or if I have my own website or my own blog, I can add that there. You can add your location, time zone, et cetera. Here's where you can join a course. We have one currently, our Miley Photos Fundamentals course, which I'll show you guys in a bit. And we have another one coming soon that's all about scanning. So if you have paper photos or slides, old, old family photos that you want to scan into Mylio, that's going to be what that course is all about. Shows you what groups you're in. You can join a group from here too. There's multiple ways to do it. And topics, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So those are certain topics that I am following and groups that I am a member of. So that's how to edit your profile. Now I wanna show you just really quickly how to edit some of your personal settings. So for example, if you need to get in and update your email and password, we don't charge you to use the Miley Photos community. It's free, so you don't have to worry about that. I definitely don't wanna do this. <laughs> so that's just the basics. Uh, and edit profiles where we just were. Notifications is the important one. So I have email updates on because I like to get emailed things I may have missed if I'm I'm on the community every day. But if I wasn't, or if it was the weekend, I don't want to miss anything. So I have my email updates on. And I have it on Daily Digest, which means at the end of every day, you'll get just like a brief synopsis of what went on that day in your email inbox. And I like that because... Otherwise, you get it if you say as activity happens, which you can do, because we're not too crazy on the community, but it can get a little noisy. You'll get an email every time something happens. You also get notifications. Let me just leave this for a second up here in the top right corner. So you can see I have two that I haven't looked at yet. And this bell icon here. It'll say if someone's joined. And again, my notifications might be slightly different because I'm a host. And I'm a part of this coffee break event. I RSVP'd or I am also in the coffee break. So it was reminding me to join that. And as the Miley Photos brand, when I post, sometimes I notify, which means that I let everyone know in the Miley Photos community that I posted something because I want everybody to look at it. <laughs> so those will pop up in here too. So if you want to check that little bell icon, see if there's anything you need to click to go into. You can do that, or you can also just say, mark all is red right here. And boom, now <laughs> my notifications have been cleared. And you can adjust your notification settings from here too, with this little gear icon. All right, so back into the personal settings really quick. Notifications. So daily digest is what I like. And you can also go through and 
I pretty much have everything turned on because I want to see it all. But you can go through and pick and choose the t- every tiny little thing you want to be notified about in here. So if someone comments after you, if someone cheers one of your comments, that mentions you, et cetera. And, so and then, of course, I've got my group. All the things get noisy because it can get noisy. That's right. Exactly. I think it even says that somewhere in here. Oh, yeah. All posts I have turned off. Because that yeah. means every single time someone posts anything anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have that one turned off because, like it says, careful, this can get noisy. Yep. All right. I think that was about it in the notifications. Um, yeah, you can change your sounds, which is, or decide if you want sounds or not. I think they're cute, so I leave them on. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I just learned something new. <laughs> uh, you can also, we have, there's an app for the community, and there's a couple ways where you can download that, but apparently you can get it texted to you, so that's cool, too. Let me look at tomorrow's. All right, we're going to move on. I have a little bit, so I'll figure it out. Right. Be- yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> It's hard to think when you hear background noise. I hear, I get it. <laughs> uh, so we talked about how to update your personal notifications and your profile. This is where you go to your notifications. Uh, chat is if you just want to do a direct message with someone else. So I have some users here who I've talked to just from my personal profile. So if I wanted to chat with Angela, <laughs> is it going to work? Oh. I think you just have to click on the start a new chat. There we go. <laughs> Clearly, I don't use this function very often. <laughs> I have a of chatting. We chat several times a day. Yeah, <laughs> we chat on our own uh, company system. So, <laughs> and actually, I am interacting from the brand account behind the Milio logo most of the day. So, I, I jump onto my personal account to comment on pictures, like you said, or respond to people's introductions like the one that I just showed you how to make but so this is how you would start a chat with Angela check the box start a chat and only her and I would see it just a direct message a lot of times people will just be wanting to chat with Milio photos so if you don't want to ask a question publicly for everyone to see you can private message us there too and what else did I want to show you over here oh invite members Usually there's another logo up here, but I'll show you the other way to do it. Usually there's a little person icon with a plus. I'm not sure why it's not here right now, but can you can go back to home. Oh, maybe that's why, because I. you're right. There you go. See, thank you. This is why you're here. <laughs> One of the many reasons you're here. So right <laughs> here, I can go to invite members. If I want to bring some friends along, you can copy the link and paste it anywhere or there's more invite options. You can send an email and it even sets it up for you. Like, hey, here I am, join me. Um, Great way to share uh, my Leo photos with people who aren't using it yet, if they wanna learn a little bit more and they, you just want them to be exposed to what's going on in our community. Um, anybody is welcome to, to join, so. Yep, free for all and anyone can join. So, and it'll show you your sent invites there as well. Another place where you can do it is over here on the left side navigation menu, which we're gonna go through some of these things in a little bit. Same exact thing. You just click invite and it shows you the link or you can email them. All right, any questions so far? Should I keep on going? Nothing in the chat. Does anybody wanna unmute and ask any questions? Those were kind of the basics anyway. So now, yeah. we're, now we're gonna start getting into more exciting stuff. All right. So uh, just really quickly, you can search for anything in the Miley Photos community up here at the top. So say you're here for a specific reason, like you want to know about our deduplication tool. You could type in deduplication and it'll show you all the different resources we have about deduplication, which we have a lot because it's a hot topic. We've got a webinar that we hosted and you can go and watch the replay. We've got articles that we've posted. Uh, this is, let's see, where is it? My old photos co- fundamentals is the course that I told you guys about, which I'll dive into in a little bit. We have modules in there. They're all about deduplication. So that's just one way that you can find resources on the Miley photos community. And also this is your main feed here. 
you can customize that. So this is my personal feed. Uh, if I want to only see my own activity, only things I've done, I can do that. Or if I want to see only things that my hosts have done and not my activity, I can do that. I am a host, so I guess I would pop up there too. Or only people near you, so obviously the options are endless here. And I can also sort it by the last activity, so that would be your most recent or maybe the most popular activity. So that's another way where you can just customize your feed. And let's see, this is going to be different, I think, because I am a host. Again, you have to join a group to be able to post, but hosts can post. So Angela posted this because she's a host. Yeah. And you could reply to Angela's post here. Anybody can reply. But if you want to be able to create your own post, you need to join a group. So we'll show you that in just a second. And now I'm going to show you guys the left side navigation menu. So obviously, if you ever want to go back to your home page, you just click home. You're on your main personal feed here. Or you can click the little Miley Photos community home logo there. Discovery is a pretty cool place. It shows you just kind of like an overall glance of what we've got going on in the community. So we've got some of our upcoming events here, some of the top posts that have been interacted with the most, some of our top members. Look at Angela. Besides, by the photos, you're number one. <laughs> <laughs> so, and featured are, is what we actually choose to feature. For example, we recently, well, at the beginning of summer, which summer is almost coming to an end, which makes me very sad. We did a photo challenge, share your summer photos, whatever summer means to you. And we had quite a few people interacting with us, and all different kinds of photos that people shared, vacations, on the water, little photo shoots with the grandkids, animals. <laughs> it was pretty open-ended, so it was a fun one to do for sure. That'll go away from our featured section pretty, pretty soon here since... Summer's almost over, but we pick and choose some of the things that we think will interest you guys the most. Some of our top groups. So, you know, based off of interactions and how many group members there are, you can see members that are near me based off of the location. If you decide to put your location in your personal profile, some top topics, top topics, <laughs> which we'll talk about in a minute. And then that's another place to access your welcome checklist. If you ever accidentally collapse this and you can't remember how to get back to it, you can get to your welcome checklist there as well. Uh, members is just all the members. You can search for specific members if you want, or you can even filter if you're looking just for the hosts. So just us, Milio Photos employees or hosts of the community. That's actually one thing to keep in mind is if you need to contact somebody from the company, um, that's not necessarily a support issue. Megan's going to show you where you can get support here in a minute. But if you have a question for us here in the community and you want to just talk to somebody privately, you can click on any of our profiles and send us a message directly. I think it says say hello or start a chat from in, within there, or you can click on that chat button up in the corner to message any of us. So just wanted to point that out in case you ever need to get any get our attention specifically on something. Yeah, or if like, cause Angela is always posting from her own account, really cool articles and things about like that because she's a fine art photographer. I could follow her too. And then my main feed will be tailored to show me, it'll make sure that the stuff from Angela goes to the top. So you can follow them or you can go in there. I could see her activity. I could follow her. I could chat her, et cetera, like she was saying. I could just learn all about her. I could stop <laughs> her a little bit, see what events she's up to. And the about section is just about our Milio Photos community. Again, there's the welcome checklist. Just an overall glance of how many members we have. It links to our website, et cetera. I already showed you guys the invite. So topics, there we go. Now we're getting into the exciting stuff. So for one, if there was a coffee break that you wanted to join but couldn't and you want to watch the recording, it has its own topic here. If you follow any of these topics, 
it'll, like I said, tailor your main feed to always show you the most recent posts from that topic. It'll probably show up in your daily digest email if you have those turned on. It'll make sure that if there's anything new going on in that topic that you follow, you're going to know about it. Some of my favorites, of course, the coffee break recordings. Any previous coffee break we've done will be here. So you can watch them on demand. Uh, my Leo Photos tutorials. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. We have tutorial videos. We have tutorial articles or even just quick little um, tutorials. Like this is a really short one from Daniel J. Cox. He's a nature photographer, world renowned, loves my Leo photos. He's always posting about us. So it's just a little quick little tip that he posted from his blog. So great resource to find if you're just wanting to dig into my Leo photos and learn more about it. Let's go back to topics. The quick start guide I mentioned earlier is a short series and also it has a PDF linked in, in each one of these. So you can download the PDF if you're more of the reading type or if you're more of the watching type. Uh, this is a great way if you're just getting into Milio photos, you can download our sample library from our product manual and you can follow along with these videos and watch how to do it, practice how to do it in Milio photos with the sample library if you're a kinesthetic learner like I am. So that's just some of the topics that we have in here. So definitely want to check those out. Events. So as you can see, it says live and it's got the little flashing red dot. That'll happen anytime we've got a webinar or a coffee break or something like that go that's actually live now going on. And you can see here it is too. So here's our upcoming ones, or you can also look at past ones. And we always try to make sure that if there's a past one and you're like, oh man, I would have loved to join that coffee break. We always try to make sure that uh, you can find the recordings there as well. Expertise, we already talked about that. I'm in the family memory keeper group. You could choose your own. Groups, this is another one that's very exciting. So as we said before, if you join a group, you will be able to post in that group. And Angela actually showed you how to do that when we first started with her leaf photo in the nature photography group. I'm only part of a couple of groups here, event photos, because I went to a concert recently and I went to uh, the local fair and a baseball game, that kind of stuff. So I wanted to make sure I could post my photos in there. And pet photos, because I have so many photos of my pets. I think I have more photos of my pets than anything else. So I'm definitely a part of that group. It's just fun. You'll see these photos. Like, oh, that's so cute. You know, oh, look at how pretty that kitty is. It just brings me joy to look at other people's pets. But I also want to be able to post my own pets when I have an adorable photo of them to share. There's Angela's kitty cat. <laughs> uh, so that's our groups. Let's go back to the main network, network here. Courses. So I told you guys about the fundamentals course. Before you jump into courses, can you pop back to groups for a second? Yes, yes. So I just want to mention there, there might be a few groups here that you don't see that we see because we're in a host account. So the Good ones point. that are marked secret, those are by invitation only. So we have affiliates who work with us who talk about and write about Mylio Photos. That's a special group for them. We have the Mylio Photos Insiders. That is a special group only for subscribers. So anybody can join any of the other groups, but you have to be a paid subscriber to join our Mylio Photos Insiders. When you subscribe, you should get an invitation for that. If you haven't gotten that or maybe you missed it, feel free to drop Megan or I a note with your email address that's associated with your Mylio account. We'll verify your membership and get you sent an invite ASAP. So yep. I just wanted to point that out in case you're wondering, hey, why don't I see those? Good call, Angela. Thank you so much. All right. Jumping into course. Oh, and also this groups. I wanted to say something about this earlier when we were in the welcome checklist when we were looking at that join a group post, but I forgot. So instead of going to the welcome checklist or trying to find that topic again, I'm actually just going to use my search function up here, type join group, and boom, there's that post that I'm looking for. If you guys have suggestions of groups that you think would be awesome to add, for example, we recently added bird photography because we realized there's an abundance of people who love birding 
And in the nature photos group, it was almost all birds. So we're like, you know what? Maybe we need to do a separate group here. I mean, there's other stuff in the nature photos group. There's wildlife, insects, trees and flowers, stuff like that. But there was a lot of birds. So we'd made a separate group for it. You can drop your suggestion to add to our categories in the comments here. And then we periodically go through those as hosts and decide which one we're going to do next. So we're constantly trying to add to our community and make it more interesting to all of our users. So your feedback is really important in being able to do that. All right, now we're going to move on to courses. So like I said, we only have one so far. We've got another one coming and I'm sure much more in the works. But the Milio Photos Fundamentals is all you need to know to get up and running with Milio Photos. It truly is. Uh, what's really cool about this course, you can start from the very beginning and go chapter by chapter, module by module, and just work your way through. And it keeps track of your progress as you go. I love that because I'm a big list checker offer. <laughs> or if you are, are already working around in Milio Photos and there's only a few specific things that you want to dive into, you can po you can just poke into any of these sections and do it at your leisure. You don't have to do them all. So that's really cool. So we have everything from getting up and running, so just setting it up, downloading it, adding devices and images, viewing and rating photos, editing your photos, which is Angela's favorite, I think. <laughs> much, yeah. <laughs> uh, getting organized, sharing, and then next steps. So this is definitely something I recommend that you guys add to your to-do list if you want to get educated on Milio Photos and you have the time. And actually there's a separate chat here for just this group. So you can comment on one of these. I think it's saying preview because I actually haven't started the course. I set up the course. <laughs> so I watched all the videos when I set it up, but <laughs> you can, you can, so it shows you who the instructor is. You can chat that person. You can follow that person. You can comment in there. Uh, or you can also just go into the chat and ask questions. See, am I in the right place to ask the questions for the? I think yeah. you have to sign or join it before you can. What was that? I think you have to start the start right. the course or join the course before you can yeah. access the, there the we go. special chat. Oh, it's You're there right. in the left hand column. Let's see over here. Oh, chat. There it is. See, so I had to start it, and now. <laughs> Now I'm in the special chat that this is just for the Milio Photos Fundamentals chat. So it's separate from the main uh, chat on your main feed that we showed you guys earlier. And a it's lot of yeah, a lot of everyone that's listed there at the top can see what you post in this feed. So it's to help out everybody who's in that course. If you come across a question, you know, something that you want to learn more about, you just let us know. And we're constantly updating things here. I did want to point out some differences between the Quick Start Guide and the My Leo Photos Fundamentals course. The Quick Start Guide is meant to be a 30 to 40 minute, very much quickly get you up and running with My Leo Photos. Very it short. This is yeah. in on the initial setup, selecting your My Leo library folder, and a couple of things to get you oriented with the program. Once you do that, then I would jump into the My Leo Photos Fundamentals course. There will be some level of overlap because we do talk about the setup process, but it goes much more in depth. And this course in its entirety is about 90 minutes to two hours long. So it is a little bit of a, more of a time commitment, but it gives you a lot more information than that quick start guide. Both are very valuable, but it's up to you how much time you have to commit. Yeah. And you can come back to it. You know, you can do a few modules, come back to it weeks later, do a few modules. It's not like you have to, it's not like you're being timed or anything like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Cool. All right, let's go back to our network home. This actually would just bring me to the home of the fundamentals course if I'm digging deep into one of these and I want to get back, but I'm going to go all the way back. Let's see here. Um, attend a live event. Oh, I missed this. <laughs> so you guys probably already know how to attend a live event because you're here today. But for those of you who will be watching this after the fact because you didn't attend the live event once we post this recording, it's good to know how to do that. So you can go to view event. Sometimes, so with the coffee breaks that are more informal, it's more of a meeting like we're doing here where we're just all chatting and, uh, you know, a little bit more informal, just having fun type meeting. 
you can RSVP to it and then just join the meeting right from there. The webinars are a little more formal generally. So when you go there, you'll have to register through Zoom instead of RSVPing on the community. So if you click this link, it'll just bring you to, uh, which is not working, there we go. It'll just bring you to the Zoom registration page and you'll have to register. You'll get an email on when and how to join the event. So it's usually one of those two ways. Go back over here. And the recordings, again, I kind of showed you this already, but we usually post in, uh, in the post, for example, she said, if you can't attend live, here's where you find the recordings. So topics, coffee break recordings, this is where our webinar replays are, et cetera. Uh, one more thing that I wanna show you guys is the support forum. So again, this is separate from the Miley Photos community here. We obviously have a lot of educational resources here as well. Support forums a little more for technical issues. We've got some of our geeky uh, data engineer guys, Milio employees there. They get a little more in depth on some of the techie stuff. Whereas this is a little more uh, fun, inspirational, you know, general education. That's what the community is for. So if you click the support forum, it'll bring you to our Milio support forum that I'm talking about. And also this is a place where if you have like a feature request that you wanna make, you can go there. Uh, there's also tips, tricks, and best practices here too. It's just a little bit different format the way they do it. I feel like, I like the community a little bit better because it's a little more like social media. So it feels a little easier to navigate, uh, a little um, less complicated, but this is a good place to go if you need help. Definitely. And is there a spot here? I was thinking that there was to get to our support page. If if you've scoured the community, you've asked questions, you're not getting the answer you need, and you've scoured the forum, you're still not finding the exact answer you need, and you're just completely stuck, you can I go to our support can you page. Click the Milio icon in the upper left. Does that take you to the support page or to the main? No, nope, it sticks oh. you there. So if you go to the Milio.com homepage, go ahead and enter that in, Megan. And we'll show you how to quickly get to support. So we always have our in-app help menu. So if you're having an issue with the application and it's, you know, unless it's something that's crashing, we prefer that you reach out to us via the in-app help menu because that allows us to collect logs and other information about what's going on with your installation that can help us solve a problem. But if for some reason the application's crashed and you can't keep it open, you can always go to our myleo.com homepage. And up at the very top menu bar, um, there should be a top menu bar. It looks like you hit a landing page. I know. I never actually use. <laughs> so funny story. I usually use Google. I'm using um, Safari because I keep the brand account on Google and my personal account. <laughs> so let's just really quickly get Google open so I can show you what it should look like. There we go. Or we were missing this whole top menu bar. Yep. So, so up here. Right there, get help. Get you help. Just go to the support website. There it is. Yep. And then scroll down where it says need help with a problem. You can open a support ticket right there. Yep. So just fill out that form and it goes straight to our support team. But like I said, if you're if the application is able to run, it's much better to be able to, to use that in-app help menu. It's a little question mark icon at the upper right. And then you can directly contact our support team from there. So. Oh, yeah. In the Milio Photos app, because mm -hmm. then they can actually get the information from your account and dive right into your problem instead of having to type it back and forth and try to figure it out. Yep. The long way. And there's also a link to our manual here, too, which a lot of times if you ask questions, we link you back to this because it's a wonderful resource that has anything you could possibly ever need to know uh, about Milio Photos if you need more deeper help. But a lot of the stuff you can find on the community. Yeah, definitely. And the ma the manual is searchable. So there's a search field there in the top menu bar. Yep. Um, but a lot of times if you ask for a question, we send you to the manual. We recognize that this is a massive document and there's a lot to sort through here. So we're happy to point you in the right direction to the to the right article if you're not finding the answer that you need. So please yep. don't ever hesitate to ask because we want you to be successful with the program. That's right. Um, okay, so let me pull back up my 
window here, back to the My Lakota's community. There was one more thing that I thought about that I didn't quite touch on. Um, we've talked a lot about educational resources, the fundamentals course, the tutorial videos. Uh, I also want to just point out that we have tons of inspirational articles, too. We, I showed you guys the summer photos photo challenge. We have lots of fun, fluffy stuff that we post. But one of my favorite things is definitely our inspirational articles. So if you go to topics, you know, we've got some of the educational stuff. We've got the community updates, which is all about the community. But we also have you can do explore technology, which is really just diving deep into the Milio photos tech. Like how does face recognition work, for example? Uh, when we have a refresh update for the app, we'll post it in here. But the inspirational is the one that I really love. We post there. So photo challenge, that's where our summer photo challenge is. We have several other things here. There's surveys. So sometimes Rich, or who is one of our um, employees, our product lead, We'll post a question or a survey, like what do you want most in the app or what editing tool would you like us to add? You can respond to that or click uh, whichever option you choose there. Uh, if you're really interested in mobile photography or our frequently asked questions, which is also on our homepage, up in that top right corner where we just were, those are also posted in here. And you can even comment on these if you have a question about one of our specific FAQs, uh, but the inspirational, that's what I really wanna show you because it's inspiring. There we are, inspiration. So uh, this is where we post, you know, a lot of our articles go here because a lot of them are meant to inspire you to get in there and organize your photos. Uh, you know, this one's all about old family photos that have been scanned in and have been organized or simple strategies for organizing your photos, emotional posts, like how photos can touch us and make us relive our memories that would have been lost otherwise if we didn't have photos or emotional video about, you know, this one was about a girl's mother who passed recently. And it was a beautiful story where she went to different locations and took photos where she had taken photos 30 years earlier. So stuff like that. My, I, uh, that's my dog. I did my own article about tagging pets in Milio photos because Milio photos doesn't recognize animal faces yet, but there's lots of different ways where you can organize your pet photos so that they're easy to find. So I did a, an inspirational post there. So and getting started in bird photography, that's been a really popular one too. So I just wanted to make sure I brought that to your attention. And again, you don't have to dig into the topic and scroll and scroll and scroll to find what you're looking for. You can always just search for it, like bird photography. There's getting started with bird photography. All right. Awesome. I think I covered everything that I wanted to show you guys, unless you guys have any questions. That was great, Megan. And there's so many different resources available in the community. I hope everyone gets a chance to take advantage of them. Um, before we wrap up for the day, I did have a poll that I meant to run at the beginning, but I'm going to go ahead and launch it now. And if you guys could take a second to answer these three questions, I would really appreciate it. It'll give us an idea of how you're using Mylio Photos and how you're using the community and what you'd like to see more. And if you have any additional feedback for the community, please go ahead and pop that into the chat. Megan and I will both take that on board. And we want to make sure it's a fun and useful place for you to hang out. So. We'll give it a few more minutes, a few more seconds here for everybody to answer. Hopefully you're seeing that poll on your screen. There we go. Excellent. Great. Well, thank you all so much. And I'll give it another moment here for you to post any additional feedback into the chat. And Megan and I will see what we can do to implement some of these things. Great. Let me go ahead and end that poll here. Give it just a second. All right, go ahead and end. I'll share these results with you guys so you can see what we're looking at. So um, I'm glad to see that a lot of you are using the, the community frequently. And it looks like what people value seeing most are the educational articles and the educational videos. Um, love seeing news about Milio. 
So I did see that somebody here would like to know, um, post something else. So make sure you post that in the chat or you can send Megan or I a direct message in the community. So, all right. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for that additional info. And thank you so much, Megan, for joining us today and giving us a great walkthrough of how to use our community. Um, great resources. And if you guys have feedback for us, please don't hesitate to drop us a line. Let us know what you guys want to see because that's what we're here for. So I want to wish you guys all a wonderful rest of your week. And we'll see you hopefully next week on the next coffee break. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye.